Growing up, I saw a movie and it was Rambo. Rambo was. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. The performance today are very reacting to one of an amazing compilation. According to my subscribers, this is really a performance to look out for. This is really a video to watch. I'm not a Muslim, I'm a Christian, but I believe this video will help me get a better views about a Muslim, a better view about their religion, and I know out there you see a lot of people fighting on religion, you see maybe a lot of people trying to condemn the Muslim religion, you see a lot of people trying to condemn the Christian religion, I believe in this time is better for us to be able to understand one another so we can be able to support each other we can be able to live a peaceful life we can be able to learn from each other just like i believe nobody is indispensable nobody knows it all if we are able to learn from one another i believe we will know better so today i'll be reacting to a video the Muslim video titled I Wanted to Kill the Muslim by I want okay, I wanted to kill the Muslim, but now I am one. I believe this is going to be very educating. So let's start with the video. I get a knock at the door and hear uh two guys in a suit. I'm from the FBI. The first thing I have to say is, What took you guys so long? I told them the truth. I was going to make my own IED, and I was going to set across the Islamic Center over in a bank's parking lot, and I was going to dial it in and just watch the show. Secret of life. Growing up, I saw a movie, and it was Rambo. Rambo was tough, respected. Yeah. He had intestinal fortitude. Fortitude. I said, that's what I want to do. I went off and joined the Marine Corps. I wanted the action. The first time I got shot at, I remember looking at my watch and I says, man, this time last year I was in English class. I fought several times in the Middle East, Desert Shield, Desert Storm, South America, Philippines, Somalia. I think the worst things that I have seen is dead children. I had to suck it up. I had to be there for my guys. Each one of those teardrops stands for a confirmed kill. I stopped adding after 26. Where I was taught, Marine Corps, just own it and then let it go. But there comes a time when there's too much of that and you can't turn it off anymore. I want you to give me a window into your state of mind at that okay. time. <sighs> One time, my wife and I went to a DSW and I saw in the distance these two women in black burkas in my store. I cried as I prayed for enough strength to go over there yeah. and break both their necks. I was just angry. I was just full of hate and it just fed off itself. At that point, I was drinking a half gallon of vodka every two days. I had devised a plan, create my own IED, homemade bomb, and I was gonna set it off right outside the Muncie Islamic Center. 200 plus killed or injured. That was the plan. I saw an opportunity to do one last thing for my country. This was my rationale. I knew I would end up in a federal prison with a needle in my arm. I didn't care my hatred of Islam. It was the only thing that was keeping me alive. Wow. Wow. This is really, really very educating. You can tell there's no reason for us to hate one another because one thing that is peculiar to all religion be it judaism be it christianity be it islam one thing that is peculiar to all is the message of peace the message of love the message of forgiveness i think it's time we have to learn from each other the christians have to learn from the muslims the muslims have to learn from the christians so we can live a peaceful life so we can learn to love one another so we can be more educative about these things to make 
better decisions. Let's continue with the video. So one day my daughter comes home, second grade maybe. She was telling me about this little boy who sat across from her, his mom came to get him. She, she said she had scarves on her and she had a dress all the way down to her feet and you couldn't see her on nothing but her eyeballs. At that point, I snapped, started spewing things out of my mouth that should never be said in front of children or anything. She didn't say anything. It was the look on her face. I remember my daughter looking at me like I was absolutely the craziest person on the face of the earth. She was my little buddy. Yeah, she used to say we were road dogs. I know, I, I, I saw it in her eyes, I made her question that love. And that's when the light bulb came on. I decided to give the people of this community one more chance. So I went to the Islamic Center, see a gentleman in the shoe room taking off his shoes. He looks at me and he smiles. He said, can I help you? And I said, yeah, I want you to teach me about Islam. So he went and he gave me a Quran. Read this, come back when you have questions. Sure so I did. Is. And I would see things in the book. I'd be like, there it is. I got it right there. Explain that to me. And they would. This was a, a kind of awakening. Long story short, eight weeks after that first day I stepped into the Islamic Center, wow. I became a Muslim. Two years later, my MC community became president of the Muslim Islamic Center. Muslim, a veteran, and a proud American. I had learned that I was completely wrong about everything that I felt. Okay. You know, Judaism had a message, Christianity yeah. had a message, Islam had a message. Funny thing is, though, it was the same message. It was about peace, and it was about love. Please join me in welcoming Mr. McKinney. My big thing is now to stop the hate. Nothing good has ever come out of hatred. I've done too many things. I've hurt a lot of people. I have to live with that. But if I can stop somebody else on the path of non-forgiveness, I won. Wow. Wow. What an amazing video you can tell us. This video is indeed really very educative because you know most times when i you know pass by a mosque i always i hear them praying i hear them you know reciting their prayer and sometimes i try to wonder why i try to wonder what they are saying but i know one thing for sure is that they are communicating to their they are communicating to their god and I always try to, you know, understand what they are actually saying. But after, you know, watching some Islamic video, I start understanding more about the Islam. I try understanding more about the Muslim, just like you have seen in this video by, I think, the name of, name is, uh, Mocklin. He said he wanted to kill the Muslim, but after, you know, knowing more about Islam, after knowing more about the Muslim, he end up becoming one, he end up becoming a Muslim. So even in the video, he said rightly that one thing that is peculiar to all religion, be it Judaism, be it Christian, be it Islam, one thing that is peculiar to all is the message they deliver, is the message they preach. And if you look at the message, both Judaism, both Christianity, both Islam, they always preach about forgiveness, they preach about love, they preach about unity, they preach about righteousness, believing no religion is going to tell you to kill one another, no religion is going to tell you to hate one another, no religion is going to tell you to fight one another, no religion is going to tell you to not forgive your neighbor. No religion is going to tell you to not love your neighbor. So, I believe I see no reason why most of us should try to hate our brothers because they, be, because they belong to a different religion. Because they believe 
maybe in Christianity or they believe in Islam or they believe in Judaism. Just because of that, we, we, I don't know, we, we, we hate our brothers, we hate our sisters and we condemn them for no reason. You see, just like in the video, it's not like the Muslim, it's not like the religion has, you know, offended it in any way, but it just has that hate for the religion, has that hate for people in the religion. I believe same thing happened in the world we are right now. Most of us, we don't try to know more about the people in the religion. We don't try to know more about the religion in question. We just end up hating the religion. So I believe I see no reason why we should hate one another. I see no reason why we should hate our brothers or we should hate our sisters. And be it Judaism, be it Christianity, be it Islam, we all have one thing in common that is peculiar to all religions that they preach. They preach about love, they preach about peace, they preach about forgiveness. And I believe if we can try to know more about, you know, try to know more about each religion, if the Muslim can try to know more about the Christians, if the Christians can try to know more about the Muslims, we can become more educated to learn from each other so we can make a better decision. So I believe this video is very motivating, it's very educative, and I believe everyone deserves to watch this video. So I would like to hear your comments. What do you like about this video? What can you say about this video? I believe a story that is similar to a story that is similar to this video is also in the Bible. A good example is the story of Paul. And as we all know, Paul contributed a lot to Christianity, if not up to 50%, if not up, I, I don't know how, how to put it. What I'm trying to say is that Paul contributed, Apostle Paul, he contributed a lot to Christianity and even most of the books that is written in the Bible was written by him. And, and you'll be very surprised to know that Paul in question was a man that, you know, was going about persecuting the Christians, condemning the Christians, trying to kill the disciple. But at a point, he was arrested by God. And before you know, he gave, a life to, he gave his life to God and he began doing good deeds, good works. And I believe all these things are already in the Bible, are already in the Quran. We all have to learn from each other so we can, you know, make better decisions. There's no reason for it. There's no reason for hating each other. We have to learn from each other so we can make a better decision. So I would like to hear your comments. Don't forget, click on the subscribe button. Click on the like button. Do have a nice day. Love you. Bye.